Well, the summer election season is just about here, and it was certainly hot in the studio as this discussion quickly turned nasty as the underdogs made Scott, Scott Brown the target of accusations and insinuations. I just you didn't answer it. I, I did you collude? I said you're absolutely wrong. That's what I said. Did you beginning. collude with him? You absolutely did not. not. Alleging a rule breaking partnership with the Brown campaign and the state GOP, Bob Smith said he has no plans to sign a pledge for party unity post primary. And I'm especially not going to sign it when, it when I know for a fact that it's been prepared and worked on with the Brown campaign. So I'm not going to sign it. Senator Shaheen's worst nightmare is a united Republican Party. The D Democrats want us to be divided. But on this panel, divided is what they seem to be, as Jim Rubens went back to a familiar well. You voted with President Obama 70% of the time, and people are asking in the state why you moved here. But Brown kept his focus on the incumbent senator, offering up eight years of his personal tax returns. Senator Shaheen said if I release my returns, uh, my wife and my returns, that she would do the same. So I hope she sticks to her word. But post discussion, Brown's primary opponents kept the focus on the front runner, labeling him the establishment's choice. Word is getting out among Republicans that he's not going to win the primary. And we've got to open this thing up and, and find a candidate that can unite the party and defeat Gene Shaheen. The Republican Party is supposed to be neutral in the primary. And they're not. That's it, pure and simple. I, I don't even know what he's talking about, but what I did take out from uh, that interview is that you got three good people who have different ideas as to how to move our country forward. All right, in case you're wondering about Scott Brown's financials, it showed last year a combined income from various sources, a total of $474,000 with a tax rate paid of nearly 24%. As for Brown's challenge to Jean Shaheen, her camp said her returns will be made public sometime soon. By the way, Close Up airs this Sunday at 10 o'clock right here, of course, on WMUR.